Greetings to all. We celebrate the 28th Sunday in Ordinary Time. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you. We begin our liturgy by calling to mind our sinfulness and asking the Father's forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. May your grace, O Lord, we pray, at all times go before us and follow after and make us always determined to carry out good works through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. First reading is a reading from the Book of Wisdom. I prayed, and prudence was given me. I pleaded, and the spirit of wisdom came to me. I preferred her to scepter and throne, and deemed riches nothing in comparison with her. Nor did I liken any priceless gem to her, because all gold in view of her is a little sand, and before her silver is to be accounted mire. Beyond health and comeliness I loved her, and I chose to have her rather than the light, because the splendor of her never yields to sleep. Yet all good things come together, came to me in her company, and countless riches at her hands. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be be to God. Oh. 
teach us to number our days that we may gain wisdom of heart. Turn back, O Lord, how long show pity to your servants. Fill us with your love with your merciful love we shall exult and rejoice all our days give us joy for the days of our affliction for the years when we looked upon evil fill us with your seen by your servants and your glorious power by their children. Let the favor of the Lord our God be upon us. Give success to the work of our hands. Oh, give success to the work of our hands. Our second reading today is a reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, indeed the word of God is living and effective, sharper than any two-edged sword, penetrating even between soul and spirit, joints and marrow, and able to discern reflections and thoughts of the heart. No creature is concealed from him, but everything is naked and exposed to the eyes of him, to whom we must render an account. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. As Jesus was setting out on a journey, a man ran up, knelt down before him and asked, good teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus answered him, why do you call me good? No one is good but God alone. You know the commandments, you shall not kill, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you shall not bear false witness, you shall not defraud, honor your father and your mother. He replied and said to him, teacher, all of these I have observed from my youth. Jesus looking at him, loved him and said to him, you are lacking in one thing, go sell what you have and give to the poor and you will have treasure in heaven, then come follow me. At that statement, his face fell, and he went away sad, for he had many possessions. Jesus looked around and said to his disciples, how hard it is for those who have wealth to enter the kingdom of God. The disciples were amazed at his words. So Jesus again said to them in reply, children, how hard it is to enter the kingdom of God. It is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for one who was rich to enter the kingdom of God. They were exceedingly astonished and said among themselves, then who can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, for human beings it is impossible, but not for God. All things are possible for God. The Gospel of the Lord. 
man was once driving through a little little country town and he passed this by this church and the sign in front of the church said big letters Jesus saves but then he looked across the street where there's a discount department store and they have a bigger sign that says we save you more a story comes to mind as I look at our gospel today where uh, at the end of well at the very end of our gospel where it says who can be saved Jesus said, for human beings it is impossible, but not for God. And at the beginning of the gospel, we see the young man, he knows, of, he says to Jesus, good teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? And as we say, to, to be saved, Jesus, Jesus is the only one that can save us through his, through, through his death and resurrection. And uh, the young man was aware of that. What must I do to inherit eternal life? And throughout the gospel where Jesus says to him, what you have give to the poor, you will have treasure in heaven, then follow me. Again, as we say, Jesus saves for the young man. What must I do to inherit eternal life? And uh, we have to take our first reading from the book of wisdom. I prayed and prudence was giving me, the spirit of wisdom came to me. The young man, we have to pray for that spirit of wisdom that we follow in the example of Jesus. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and, and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the dead, and life everlasting. Amen. We bring our petitions to our Heavenly Father. Our response today to the intercessions is, Lord, hear our prayer. For all who minister to God's people throughout the world, may they teach others to recognize the limits of power, beauty, fame, wealth, and trust God who alone fills all we need, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the leaders of all nations, may God guide them as they strive to contain nuclear weapons. May they strive to work together to find new paths of dialogue to resolve disputes and provide all people with a just share of the earth's harvest, we pray. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For a greater reverence and appreciation of human life, may we recognize God's gift of life in each person, particularly in the very young and the elderly who cannot speak for themselves, we pray. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For our faith community, may our hearts overflow with the spirit of thankfulness for God's many blessings, and may we be open to God working in our lives, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For people suffering illness of body, mind, or spirit, may they know the renewing and comforting touch of Christ through those who care for them. We especially remember Arlene Reese, Roy Clavey, Vic Cordes, Father Tom Botheroid, Clem Campbell, Carmela Morris, and Don Gruzik. And also for those suffering from the loss of a loved one, we pray, Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For our needs held in the silence of our hearts and those that are written in the book of petitions in the Eucharistic Chapel, including Pauline Dennis, Mom and Dad Kolaje, Mitchell Rendak, Genevieve and Marty Morrison, Arthur Valere, and the people of the parish, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God and Father, may our prayers increase our love for you and one another. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given, human hands have made, and will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. 
Pray, my sisters and brothers, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we to extol you with all the angels as in joyful celebration we acclaim holy. indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith we proclaim. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Ronald, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, and the universe of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. So Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, 
My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. We offer a sign of peace to one another. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you make us sharers of his divine nature who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless us. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, the Mass is ended. Go in peace. Father Bob with Louie and Gracie uh, saying hello to all. And uh, we just finished our gospel, you know, our mass for the 28th Sunday where the young man asked Jesus about, about eternal life, which kind of reminds me of the story about uh, a businessman who died, he went to heaven, but Saint, he goes to meet St. Peter. And St. Peter looks, you know, looks over his record and he says, you know, I can't see any good that you've done in your whole life. You know, you take advantage of people, you always thought of yourself, you weren't generous with anything, and uh, I can't think of any good thing, I can't see any good that you've done. And the businessman says, wait a minute, wait a minute. A couple years ago, I remember, I gave 50 cents to a homeless man. Out of the goodness of my heart, 50 cents to the homeless man. So St. Peter says, well, I'm gonna go check with Jesus. So he says to Jesus, Jesus, I've looked at this man's record. The only good thing he's, he's done was give this 50 cents to a homeless man. What do you think we should do with them? Jesus looks at Peter and says, you know what? Give him his 50 cents back and tell him to go to hello. 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 <laughs> I don't think that's a true story. Anyway, uh, nice to see everybody. We hope all is well. Love you all. And Louie and Gracie say so long. Say so long, Gracie. So long, all. Uh.